area is feeling hot under the collar as an intense and what forecasters say will be a prolonged heat wave starts to take a dangerous hold across the middle of the country. Pretty much everywhere, it's gonna be hot. The story you are about to see is true. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. Welcome to Heat Wave. We have a great show for you this week. Welcome, everyone. Uh, Brady Lee is our special guest today. Hi, Brady. Woo! Hey, good to be here. He is the newly elected president of SMU and a fantastic mag- magician. Uh, m- currently, my mind is blown right now because he just did a, a trick for us before we started, and <laughs> I, I have no idea I how he did it. Yeah, uh, I don't know either. We can talk about that later. Okay. But, uh, so we'll be talking with him about his magic and about his vision for SMU next year mm-hmm. a little bit. All right, uh, tweet us at Heatwave Biola throughout the show if you have any questions for Brady or want to compliment any of your hosts. Uh, ask him anything, uh, say anything positive about us, our physical appearances, intellect, anything. <laughs> All right. We'll see how many tweets we get. <laughs> Hopefully a lot, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sweet. Um, so, Brady Lee, you're here. I'm here. Do you like our intro music? It's pretty great, huh? Yeah, very yeah. tropical, interesting. <laughs> You're rested and developing ish? Yes. <laughs> we think um, of ourselves as uh, island people. We are <laughs> I mean that's one way to put it, I guess. The banana stand. Yeah. <laughs> There's always money in the banana stand, guys. Anyways. Um <laughs> Brady Lee, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah. Um I usually don't use a pillow at night. Um oh, really? Yeah, I just wait, so what do you sleep on? I just sleep on the bed and my and it doesn't really hurt my neck or anything I, huh. I think a pillow is a little i don't use this word a lot but it sounds fancy a, a pillow is a little superfluous what a great Whoa. word really yeah. now what is your body orientation when you sleep are you on your back i am on my chest on your, okay. yeah on I my do chest that too. Whoa. So, that makes sense now i'm learning things right now yeah um can, oh, let's see yeah. what else i, mean, really, like, I want to know what made you decide to do that when did you decide to do that in your life um you know i think <laughs> I, I think just uh, a few years ago, I realized, hey, I don't need this pillow to sleep well. And I have a nice bed. It's Tempur-Pedic. And so oh. it's it's basically that, like one big pillow. And so I don't need a, another that's pillow. That's very interesting. Mm-hmm. Wow. wow. So no pillow. No pillow. Brady Lee doesn't use a pillow. No, I do not. Uh, let's he- see. My name is Brady Lee. Uh, my middle name is is not Ugg. Because that would be yeah. Brady Ugly. Mm-hmm. That's true. And my parents, <laughs> so they chose Brock instead. Brock. Broccoli. I'm Brady. just kidding. Ah, no, no, no. Brock. I'm just kidding. It's actually Austin. Um, Austin Lee. But yeah, I'm a. Uh, yeah, yeah. I. I, <laughs> I don't know what to believe anymore. Uh, <laughs> Not very funny. You could. Uh, <laughs> you could. Yeah, I am a Biola student here. I am a Christian Ministries major. Mm. Um, yeah, I'm from Fres, yes, California. Fres- not Fres, no. Not Fres, no. <laughs> yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, I am excited to be here. Excited for next year. I just got elected uh, as the AS president, and so that's exciting. <laughs> so, uh, Following in the footsteps of our, our of our other friend Tyler. <laughs> yes. No, uh, yes. I got elected as the SMU president, and I'm excited to talk about that. Yeah. Today. Mm-hmm. That's I good. also heard you sing as a sopran yes in the choir. <laughs> A what? A sopran. Oh, sorry, sopran. Oh. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. He can make the phrase yes joke, and I can't make the sopran <laughs> yes. <laughs> because that one was funny. <laughs> yeah. Too wow. Too late. Well, yeah, we're excited to have you. So. Well, before we get into more, we're gonna start off with a game. How mm. do you feel about that, Brady? I'm excited. Um, we're gonna blindfold you, and here's the name of the game. It's called Cheese Who, Cheese It. Uh, and what's going to happen is we're going to blindfold you Good and sound Andrew and I will go across yes. the table and you have to guess which one of us are chomping on a cheese it All the four little, of us are going to be over here. We're going to blindfold you okay. and you have to guess which one of us ate a cheese it Awesome. Rules are you have to not see who's doing it. You have to listen and then you have to get four out of six correct. So that means if you're at four and you still have two more questions to go, mm-hmm. you probably want to strategize and get them wrong. Okay. If you're really that good at guessing who's masticating well. Mm. What does that mean? That is the scientific word for chewing. Very nice. (laughs) It also made me nervous. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So, Brady, here's the blindfold. We're all nervous, Andrew. (laughs) Okay. 
Is this the one that I gave yeah. you before the show? So uh, can, yeah. Like, the, Did we the tell him one? to bring a blindfold, and he had no idea no, why? No, he's a magician. He knew. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> all right, so Brady's putting on his blindfold, and this is a riveting game that we're trying for the first time on here. All of you are going to love this. <laughs> this is good stuff right here. So your options are going to be Josh, me, Matt, Cameron, and Andrew. Each time you hear someone bite into a cheeser. He's completely blindfolded right now. He is now. blindfolded. I see it. There's no way he could see through that bandana. <laughs> Not at all. All right. Number one, here we go. So one of us has the cheese it and they are about to eat it. Here we go. Hmm. Cameron. Wow. Oh. Wow, okay. Wow. That was great. There you go. One for one. <laughs> Uh, Josh. Oh, I'm sorry. Ooh. That's incorrect. That's incorrect. Mm. That was Andrew Cobb. I love you, Andrew. Love you too, Brady. All right, here we go. Number three. Hmm. Matt. Oh, I'm sorry. That's incorrect. That was Josh Eccles. So now Josh. we're going to go to number four. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Mm. Is that Matt? Ooh. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Wow. Mm. Try one more. Yeah. All right, number five. Hmm. Tyler Hormel. What? <laughs> um, uh, Josh. No. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. That was me. Ah. <laughs> ah. All right, last one. <laughs> Kim. Hey. Hey. You know me, Brady. <laughs> yeah, I do. Mm. So Brady knows at least Cam's chewing method. <laughs> so what do you get? Three out of three out of six? Or two out of six. Just two Cam. out of six. Wow. Well, you can take the both me. off. They were both okay. Cam. <laughs> That's great. Thank you for putting up with that game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was great radio. <laughs> that was. Cheese who? Cheese, Cheese it. it. Yes. <laughs> Let's play that sound effect again. This is great. <laughs> that was our intro to this game. <laughs> okay. Why so that get... was a riveting game. We might bring that back at a later point. We'll see. I feel it's... like that was uh, our most delicious game yet. Yeah. Mm. Those cheeses are good. I was hungry. Those are good cheeses. You cheese might hear, you might are hear those me flavor blasted? The, well, they're Cheddar Jack flavored. Oh. Uh, don't tell, but we stole them from Jimmy Woo's room. <laughs> <laughs> May I have another? Please, sir, can yeah. I have some more? Away from the microphone. Yeah, I, I oh. feel like the people the people, are done with that. Wow. <laughs> All right. The All people, right, the so people. <laughs> back to our guest, Brady Lee. Hmm. Brady Lee, tell us a little bit about your magic. Like when you started, uh, what made you interested in magic and so on? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, when I was about 10 years old, I started... Uh, just getting really interested in it because my dad did magic tricks as a hobby and he is actually a dentist and so he would perform tricks to his patients especially the kids because they were mm. nervous and so he would uh, do tricks to put them at ease and and so I kind of saw that growing up and when I was 10 I started getting into it because we went to a, a family camp my whole family did and uh, there was a one night where there was a magic show and the kids were supposed to be uh, at the cabin. It was supposed to be like in a just a parent night, um, and my dad snuck me in the magic show. Whoa. And I... Dangerous. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and I was just so inspired watching this, and, and so I just took off from there. And I think the next year, my parents invited a professional magician to come over to my house on my birthday and teach me magic. And it just kind of started from there. I just started doing magic shows. I remember my first time I did a show and I got paid $40. And I, Whoa. Uh, yeah, that was the most mind-blowing thing of the day. I was like, <laughs> what? I get paid for this. And uh, it's really been a great hobby. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So how long have you been doing it? 10 years. Uh, 11 years. 21. 11 years. Mm -hmm. That's great. Mm -hmm. um, Blackjack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, uh... What is your uh, favorite trick to pull on people? Do you have a favorite trick? We're passing the trees that's around because mm. they're good. Mm. That's my favorite trick. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I have a fun 
a fun trick. Uh, <laughs> it's where someone chooses a card and they show it around to everyone and put it back in the deck. And then the next thing you know, the, the card is vanished from the deck and I tell them to check their pocket and the card you can't has magically no appeared way. inside their pocket. No <clears throat> way. No, a little invasive. Yes way. I don't believe that that can happen. How long did it take you to, to finesse right that? What? Check that my trip. pocket right now. <laughs> yeah. To what? finesse that one. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. I have the entire That's deck in my pocket. Wow. Yeah. Uh, how long? Um, I don't know. I woke up one day and I had the power to do it. <laughs> the Lady of the Lake with her arm. And I mean, you know, at this point, with what he pulled before the show, like, I wouldn't be surprised yeah. if it was so just like. Before the show, here's what he did. He, he passed me a invisible deck of cards and told me to pick any card, so I'm just making a card up in my mind. He's like, hey, make sure this has 52 cards, and we're like, yeah. haha, it's an invisible deck, And whatever. so in my mind, I thought, ten of diamonds. And so, uh, you know, I give the, ba- the deck back to him, and then he kind of he, he kind of tapped on a, a, a real box of cards, and then there was real cards in there. He said they, he made them visible. And he pulled them out, and, he, and one card was facing the other way than the others and it was the ten of diamonds i i don't even understand that's like that. yeah i've never seen anything I like that speak. it was just so oh because Cameron it wasn't was even like nervously. i put a real it wasn't even like he <laughs> was he based it off of a card i chose or anything i i made something right. up in my mind the deck he had was untouched and then you just told him what card you saw in your own head yeah it's crazy pretty yeah. intense insane well the crazy Crazies. thing is is going to be when you go back to your room and uh, lift up your pillow <laughs> oh, and see what card is on your pillow. The ten of diamonds. I hope so. Will it be a picture, of, or will it be like a small note, like, "Hey, don't use pillows anymore." They're <laughs> superfluous. Someone uh, couldn't pull that on you because you don't have a around. pillow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you deal with the tooth fairy when you were a kid? Um, yeah, they. I, I just did this a few years ago, so I had all my teeth. Oh, uh, 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 wow. Yeah. That was that question that was all rattling around our brains. <laughs> I know, right? Um, what, was mine? <laughs> what is the biggest misconception about magicians, do you think? Mm. Well, I'll tell you what. There's There's been times I've done magic to people, um, and they've honestly thought it, that it was something like black magic. Mm-hmm. And, you know, here I'm this this guy just wanting to entertain and they, they're thinking that it's something demonic or something crazy. And so, uh, I always have to be careful, um, especially as a Christian magician, uh, that word magician yeah. can be thrown around as, uh, as you know, in the Bible, it talks about magic in, in a way that's not good. And so people who, um, don't really know, uh, that I'm doing sleight of hand, I have to be very careful about that. And so I can say that I'm an illusionist, which is, uh, for some, they, they prefer that more than magician. So mm. when I perform at churches, I ask them, hey, do you want me to go by magician, illusionist, stuff like that? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Huh. Mm-hmm. That's so interesting that people get tripped up yeah. like about mm-hmm. all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, speaking of, we have a question on Twitter. <laughs> Viola Friends Club asks, Brady, have you ever had someone get frustrated or really mad after doing one of your magic tricks? Oh, definitely. Uh, I've... <laughs> Yes, I have people, I've had people say, like, I hate you, or, <laughs> yeah, or just, like, burn them at the stake, or, you know, like, just really <laughs> frustrated. Ah, dude, I was performing the other day uh, at a food bank to someone who I was helping through the line getting food, and this guy, I, so I did a trick, and he's like, okay, how much does that cost to learn the secret? And I said, oh, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to share the secret. And he was, like, pushing me on it. He's like, no, like, no, seriously, I want to learn that. How much should I, should I pay I was like, dude, I'm not going to tell you. And he started cussing me out. I was like, oh, man. I was like, so, yeah, but that's very rare. Most people just enjoy it and they're yeah. astonished. Oh, but, yeah. yeah, yeah, I've met, I I've, haven't have seen many magicians who can do it on the level that you do it. Mm. So Thank you. I can remember uh, me and Brady uh, both used to do a Tijuana ministry. Yeah. So one of, one of the funnest, uh, we'd just go down to Tijuana for a Saturday and hang out with the kids. And uh, one of the funnest days was uh, when he was teaching the, all, the entire uh, children's home of kids all these magic tricks. Mm-hmm. But the funny part was all the Biola kids who couldn't do it, mm-hmm. but yeah. those kids picked it up. Yeah. That's faster fun. than we did. <laughs> or at least me, because I was pretty awful at it. Yeah. No, that was fun. It, the, the children's home there, uh, the kids wanted to learn magic so that they could share the gospel with it, use it as a way to hmm. communicate the gospel. And so I came down there and performed and, and then 
taught them a trick that they could use. So mm -hmm. it was neat. That's right. mm -hmm. And then yeah. Brady had an entourage of kids following <laughs> him around the rest of the day. Yeah. Do you have like a go-to trick that you that you like when people say, "Oh, show me how to do a trick." Like there's one that you're just like, "I don't care if people know how to mm. do this one anymore. I'm just going to show people how to do this one." Yeah, yeah. I I teach them how to take a a Kleenex and tear it apart into pieces and then to magically fuse it back together into one piece. So. Whoa. Mm -hmm. What? How, yeah. di how difficult is that? I remember not learning how to do that. Um, it, you know, you could find it in in most magic books. Uh, it's pretty beginner level, so. Yeah, maybe after the show we can. <laughs> it's pretty almost, beginner that was, level. That's kind Andrew. of an insult. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I honestly thought about transferring into a magic, uh, magic major, but uh, <laughs> you know, uh, yeah. I just didn't make the prereqs. Yeah. So, uh, what are uh, the prereqs, Andrew? Um, you tell. Levitation. <laughs> levitation. <laughs> yeah, you have to levitate in front of a small crowd. Um, <laughs> mm. Okay. DBC wouldn't allow you into the School of Magic, huh? Mm. Yeah, yeah, so I did film instead oh. <laughs> to make movie magic. Movie magic. Whoa, yeah. ayo. That's pretty great. <laughs> Clever. Clever. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you talked about a little bit about, like, using your magic as ministry. Is that something that you see yourself, like, doing after you leave college? Yeah, it is. Uh, not as, like, a profession, but as, as something that just really connects you with people. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, I'll be walking down the street and uh, and then just seeing someone and wanting to perform a trick to them and then uh, it really I mean breaks the ice. That's really a great way to, mm -hmm. to it really is because no one doesn't yeah. want to see a magic trick. Seriously, you know? mm -hmm. so it's it's been so helpful uh, and I do want to be a pastor and so I would love to keep on using magic uh, as a way to illustrate different uh, theological truths. You know, mm. it's just such a visual thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, how about this? Can you do a trick for us on the air, Brady? Definitely. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, I'm excited. This is great radio. All right, Again. this is great radio. I do, I do. Gonna... Everyone's going to listen as uh, Brady does a magic trick for us. We'll narrate for everyone. And we're going to narrate for you since everyone can't see. This will be a play-by-play. As, play. as best so, we can. Uh, we're going to play a song here as, as you do this by one of the mo uh, that represents one of the world's most famous magicians. I'm excited. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, yeah. So let's, let's see. see. Uh, so Brady, I love go ahead Merlin. And start. Okay. So here <laughs> and we'll and we'll narrate. I brought I brought two for you guys. Um, Whoa. I'll do the first one. Uh, I have a pack of cards here. That you he has gave a pack of cards before the show. It's uh, okay. Um, he's pulling the cards out of the box. Okay. Nothing. Nothing they, crazy right now. They have moose on the reverse side. Moose. Meese. Little little meese there. Okay. He's shuffling. This is not a trick deck because we gave it to him. Yeah. yeah. So okay. Uh. But I do prefer blue cards. So if you watch the moose, um, stop. Wait, what? Can actually just Get out here. change it. What? It. What the heck? Whoa! Whoa. Okay, so this is he weird. just took the deck and and did something to it, and now all the cards are are different. The they have a different. Yeah, wait. <laughs> we have lost the, the moose card cards. <laughs> we, lost, we lost all the cards that had a moose on the. On now the they're a, nor it's now a normal deck now. Normal deck of Can blue we cards. We just changed it in front of our eyes. So I need. Yeah, Cameron, uh, check your pocket. <laughs> Just kidding. Cameron, <laughs> pulls out fifty. <laughs> Cameron, would you like to take out a card? Yes. Okay. This is weird. Well, now it might any, be a trick deck. We don't know. Okay. No, well, I yeah, don't that's true. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> he tried giving. So me a forget card. that. Okay, okay. Show that around your friends and family. Okay, we're not going to say what the card is. Okay. I do want you to take the okay. sh sharpie and oh, no, sign your name across the face think, of the card. Oh my gosh. So Cameron's signing Cameron's his signing name his name onto the card. This is incredible, people. Brady is confidently says, shuffling the deck. Cam. Brady has a smirk on his face as if he knows what's going to happen. <laughs> I'm sure he does. Uh, hmm. Okay. And he wouldn't be a magician. We are all waiting in eager excitement for yes. what will happen next. We have bated breath. Here it is. Yeah, show that around. The, re the reason why we okay. uh, had him sign the okay. card is so that we know it's the only card in the world exactly like that. There's okay. no duplicates, nothing fancy there. Try not to bend it or anything. Yeah. Give it away. Okay. Give it away, give it away, right. give it away now. I'm going to take that card, his signed card, and lose it inside the middle of the deck. Okay. Lose your it's card gone. inside the deck. It is in the middle of the deck now. Like All right. Yesterday. Okay, it's in the middle. Somewhere inside there. Uh, so what I'm going to do is... He shuffled a little bit. I, sh yeah. I shuffled it up. He shuffled it. Uh, I'm actually going to have you think of your card and just have it right on the forefront of your mind. Cameron is thinking okay. right now. Got it. Do you have it? Intently. He has it. <laughs> okay. What I'm about to do is a little interesting. Uh, interesting. I'm gonna have you transfer that, the thought of your card. Uh, I'm gonna have it go on his head. 
<laughs> I'm gonna have it go from your mind, crawling down your shoulder, down your arm, all the way down your hand into your finger. Okay, so can you just mentally just have the card go from? <laughs> your Cameron is thinking brain about that. It's here. going to his finger. What if we saw like Cameron the, is mentally uh, tracing the track uh, of the? If we saw the, the outline of a card finger. under his skin, just okay. like climbing up to his finger, that would be weird. It's Anyways. right there. Okay. On my finger. Awesome. It's on your. I have my uh, my cell phone right here. Okay. Brady, Brady, Brady has a cell phone. Okay. I'm going to uh, five? turn it on. Uh, what I'm going to have okay. you do Doesn't is matter. just look at the screen right here. Okay. Okay. That's my screen server. Um, I I'm going to place the phone right here. I'm going to place the deck of cards on the table. Right here. The phone no. and the deck of cards are adjacent. Mm -hmm. What I want you to do is the just. The phone has a black background. Touch, yes, touch the deck of cards. Just Cameron on the top. is touching the deck of cards. Transfer the, the thought from, from your finger into the deck. Okay. Moses Jones. Perfect. Everyone, if you can, if you can stand up and look, uh, what's about to happen? I'm gonna just drop the phone on top of the deck of cards. So drop the phone. On the can He's hovering three. the phone over the deck of cards right now. Like a magician would. One, two, three. What the heck is going? No, get out of here. So the the cards like okay, floating now, around now the he's, screen. He's, he's taken the the phone away from atop the deck of cards, and the but the video is still on the phone. But and it's folded. The card is the folded. Card is on the folded. Screen. Look, look, look. It looks like the card and I'm looking. is. Wait, wait. Watch one, two, three. This is weird. The card is. <laughs> And acted like he pulled it out, and a card came out of the phone, folded up. Oh my god. And goodness. it's Camp's card. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Alright, so that. it appeared as though there was a card inside his phone. Wow. And then he had his thumb pressed against it with his index finger on the back side of the phone. And he acts like he pulls it out, but it actually it's it leaves the screen and there's a folded card in his hand. And really it's Camp cool. Cam's card. Really cool. That is yeah. unreal. That was amazing. That I have no idea what to think what? right now. That's good radio. What? Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, just one other, uh, one other. <laughs> Great wow. timing on that music. Uh, <laughs> wow. Yeah, was that? I have one, one other thing here. Okay. Ah. Whoa. It's, it's a cane Don't that just me, extended out of extended nowhere. Extended a very large magic wand. <laughs> Don't tease me. I fear for my safety in my life. You know what time it is. That's true. It's KJ52 it's little, time. It's a little late, late, but it's KJ52 time. Oh. So no. what does that mean? That means we're going to play a song, but... We have a special guest here today. Yes. Our friend Matt, Matt Kettle. Kettle. He has his guitar with him, and he is going to play the KJ52 song on the guitar. So let's cut to it. I have to remember how to play this. Man, my, my musical debut. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Find a good spot. Matt's playing his guitar with the song we always play every week. Wow, wow beautiful. beautiful. Thank that's you, Matt. Kevin. I'm not sure how he did that. <laughs> that's fantastic. <laughs> that was amazing. Thank you, Matt. I still... That card... The iPhone thing. Oh, my gosh. How? I'm still... My mind's still boggled about the thing before the show. I don't... I, I just don't know what to... Oh, my gosh. I, and he folded what, it up so tight. I'm looking at it, and it's like very, very creased. Like he, it looks like he really jammed it into his phone. That's so weird. Anyways, yeah. Um, so. <laughs> speaking of magic, we have bowling news. Not yet. We don't have bowling news. Oh yes. Back to questions with Brady Lee. <laughs> <laughs> You misread the schedule, everybody. It's okay. No, you know what? I just got really excited about bowling news because... <laughs> we all are. <laughs> it's a new segment. I want to try it out, see what happens, you know? All good things to those who wait, Josh. Uh, I don't want to wait, It's though. from the Bible. Eh, what, uh, uh, yeah. Anyways, Brady, back to you. Yes. Yes. Um, you just got voted SME president. Yes. You won by a narrow margin. <laughs> just kidding. You ran unopposed. <laughs> mm-hmm. But it was, I think that just goes to show that nobody wanted to run against you because mm. you were going to win anyways, you know? Um, Brady probably would have gotten the same amount of votes if, if somebody had ran against him, too. It's true. He's just that kind of guy. It's true. Um, what made you want to run for SME president? Yeah. Uh, what, what is it? The, 
It's the Student Magic Union, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Student yeah. Magic Union. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Someone was mentioning something about a missionary union, but I. You're like, what is that? Yeah. I don't know. I just want magic. Yeah. <laughs> no. Um, man. So I, I don't know if I should be quoting a, a pagan philosopher on the Biola, but there's a and so there's a, Do a guy you, named Confucius, Uh-oh. and he says that find a job that you love to do and you'll never have to work another day in your life. Um, and man, this SMU position, uh, it wouldn't feel like it's a job. I honestly, it's my passion to motivate and mobilize people to, to align their hearts, hearts uh, to the completion of the Great Commission. Mm. Uh, that I, I want to equip students, I want to inspire them and encourage them to uh, just to be on mission. Uh, the Lord, God, loves us and with that love that we have we should love others and uh, and you know enjoying God leads to exalting hmm. uh, when you're in love you want to tell the world that's what Carl Sagan another atheist guy so, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when you're in love you want to tell the world uh, and it's true um, and so I've been captivated by God and his love and I want to just spread a passion uh, and I think that there's a, a common misconception that uh, that, I, that I've kind of seen is that people think that, you know, you have to go overseas to be a missionary. Mm-hmm. And I uh, uh, hear me say that I uh, am totally for the gospel going out to the nations. There's uh, billions of people who have never heard the name of Jesus, and we need to go to the nations. God's heart is for every type, tongue, and, tongue and nation to, to bow before him and worship him and to enjoy him. Um, and so I'm all for that, and I'm for going across the street and uh, and interacting with your neighbor and sharing the gospel and loving them. And too many students feel like they have to cross the sea. And there's this quote I love that is by a Christian. <laughs> Finally. Uh, <Ugh>. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's by the founder of YWAM. And he, he says, hey, uh, to be a missionary, you don't need to cross the sea. You just need to see the cross. Mm. Mm. And so go. all of us at Biola uh, are professing Christians. We we know Jesus, and so uh, I just want want them to know that hey, they are a missionary because they follow Jesus, and Jesus is on mission, and 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 so are we. And so, hey, who's what's your mission field? Uh, that's the question. It's not are you a missionary or not. No, are you gonna have your mission field in the business world or mm. your neighborhood if you're a stay-at-home mom? What what are you what are you gonna do? Um, but to honestly just to realize that uh, man, we've get, we've been given this great commission. Uh, and it's not a duty. It could. It's just. It's a delight. It's a, something to fulfill um, because we're in love with this God. Wow. There you go. That is fantastic. Wow. I mean, there's no man that's better suited for this position mm-hmm. than Brady Lee. Yeah. So you. that's nice. Of you. I'm excited to see what happens. And so you like are in charge of missions conference, right? Yeah. I um. I I just hired the the two new mission conference directors. Uh, and so they're going to be in charge of Missions Conference, uh, Jake Nagy and Molly Shadden. Okay. Uh, oh, man, so, so excited good. for them. Yeah. And, and wow. so I am, I am like pouring into them, and I'm their, their boss. Uh, and as they, so they will lead a team. And so I'm also in charge of the, the short-term mission director mm-hmm. who is going to be sending out trips in the fall and the, in the spring. Um, and so I'm kind of like in charge of the different directors, and they're in charge of the their people mm-hmm. that's really cool man. that's awesome that's, that's exciting yeah. yeah that's great well all right on a, on a different note now <laughs> easy now, transition here now it's time for bowling news yes <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> bowling news time and what does that mean andrew what is bowling news well um down at the bowling alley where i have bowling class they have these little newspapers lying around and they have a newspaper for bowling news, and it's a it's, How a, it's a publication for all the bowling alleys. Is that correct? Yeah, it's uh, it's by California Bowling News. You can find them at online at www.californiabowlingnews.com. They've just gone digital. They've just gone digital. About time. So you can get like email reminders about whatever bowling news you need. Brady, do you bowl? Uh, yeah, I don't. I I have cereal in a bowl, but I do not bowl. Mm. Mm. Well, Good maybe point. you'll want to after this segment. <laughs> All right. I know I do. So we thought uh, there's no better publication to read online on on the on the air than Bowling News. Yeah, yeah. naturally. 
So, Brady, can we ask you, uh, give us an emotion, a suggestion of an emotion, or, or a, a backstory, like some like an acting, if you're an acting director and you want an actor to act a certain way. Bashful. Bashful. Okay, Andrew is going to read an article from Bowling News. <laughs> Bashful. So what's the article, Andrew? Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure how to do bashful. Well, just tell us what the article okay. is first. Try st- Try Senate's championship just a few weeks away. All right, so here we go. Bashful, Andrew Cobb. <laughs> Bowlers, don't wait. Entries are just starting to flow in. Our Tri Senate Championship <laughs> tournament has sold out three years in a row. If you want to secure your specific squad times, now is the time. The word is rapidly spreading throughout the bowling world about this exceptional tur- tournament being held one big weekend. More bashful, more bashful. <laughs> Sunday and Saturday, Saturday and Sunday, <laughs> April 11th through 12th, 2015, at Cal Bowl in Lakewood, <laughs> California. <laughs> last, this is incredible. Last year, we had bowlers all the way from Ohio with a team from Las Vegas, Nevada, winning the grand first prize of money of 15 grand. That's a lot of money. This, is, this is, isn't, isn't so much Andrew Bashful as it, it just is Andrew at 3 a.m. when he, hasn't, he doesn't have much sleep. More, yeah, Andrew, sleepless Andrew flustered is what this <laughs> is. <laughs> the $15,000 state first prize is guaranteed based on 165 entries. And going into our fourth annual, we are expecting to exceed last year's entries of 171. Yes, this tournament is open to all you USBC slash TNBA bowlers. However, if you are a current USBC member but not a TNBA member... <laughs> You may still bowl in the premiere event. All right. By simply That's purchasing great. the TNB. <laughs> Just job. a few weeks away. <laughs> All right, you know what that means. It's time for our game, Call Me Maybe. Oh, yes. Call Me Maybe. Although we have a twist on the game today. What's the twist, We're not going to just call a random floor. Cinnamon twist? No. I wish. Uh, We have our sideline reporter, Cameron Campbell. Cameron Campbell, say hey. Hey, what's up? He is out on campus. He has just left uh, the studio. Yes, he has. And he's on campus. He's going to go around and ask random students walking around campus some questions. There you go. We call this segment, Heat Wave Hits the Streets. This will be great. Are we ready? Um, are we good? Yeah. I'm are you Are you ready? So Cameron's going to ask some questions. Go some if they get if if they get the right answers, okay. they win a Red Bull keychain. Hey, we're on the move. We're on the move. We're looking for people. We're in Commons. Yeah. Oh, Jared Keithley, you're going to be on Heatwave. I have a question for you. Who would win in a fight, Bruce Lee or Brady Lee? Uh, I like Brady Lee. So uh, Brady Lee. All right. All right. You get a Red Bull keychain. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Wow. <laughs> we're running, we're running around still. Taking a hike, taking a hike. Walking through the mailboxes. This is incredible. Oh, I'm going to stop. Hey, guys. I'm on Heatwave Radio. What's the dumbest magic trick you've ever seen? Uh-huh. Dumbest magic trick you've ever seen? There's one on Facebook. There's one on Facebook you saw? Yeah, it was uh, a <laughs> guy went to act like he was going to get a quarter from the bottom of a water bottle. And he had his girlfriend look in, make sure the quarter was there. But the quarter was under under the water bottle, not in the water bottle. And it was supposed to be in the water bottle when she looked. And so he said, I'm not going to touch it or anything like that. So she looked again, and he squeezed the water bottle right in her face. So all the water under her face. Wow. Uh, wow. Hey, you can be Red Bull teaching. I'm going to ask you a question as well. Who is the better president? <laughs> Ulysses S. Grant, Rutherford B. Hayes, or Chester Arthur? <laughs> The last one. The last one, Chester B. Arthur. I would yeah. agree with them. Um, Father of the Navy. That is a fit sweet name. You also get a Red Bull keychain. Wow. All right. Just handing those out left and right. Oh. He's <laughs> just <laughs> running up to random people. I have a question for you. Are you ready? Okay. Would you rather change genders every time you sneeze or mistake babies and cupcakes for each other? I can't make that decision. She says neither. 
That's wrong. That's wrong. She does not I'm want not a Red Bull keychain. <laughs> Don't give her a Red Bull keychain, Cam. I have a question for you. Yeah. Would you rather have no elbows or no knees? Oh. Uh, I would rather... Yeah, I think I'd rather have no knees. Why is that? Because... Kind of creep me out, and I'm like disturbed by them, and so I feel like it'd be pretty great. If I That's weird. Do you want to creep you out? Yeah, you can't stop. You can't walk, no knees. I don't think so. You'd, you'd, you'd go right to the ground. No. no. <laughs> so you need these to lock. Okay, well, you get a Red Bull keychain. I have a question for you, too. Uh, <laughs> That's what impressive. What'd he say? Oh, um, 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 best Pixar um, film? Yeah. Oh, um, I don't, no, that's wrong. Sorry. Oh, no Red Bull keychain. No Red Bull keychain. The answer was Cars 2. <laughs> okay, we're still running. We're running by Crowell. Excuse me, who's winning a fight? Bruce Lee or Brady Lee? Bruce Lee. One says Bruce Lee. Magic. Oh, yeah, dude. Hey. Magic. Magic would win. That's true. <laughs> Magic would win. After what I've seen today. Excuse me, Mark. What are your thoughts on Brady Lee? As well. What are your thoughts? Just first Brady. guy. Very good. Very good. You get a Red Bull keychain. <laughs> All right, this is getting yeah. All right, a couple more questions, then we'll bring it home. Mm-hmm. Oh, here's a nice young lady. Here we go. Pulling a folder, headband. Would you rather have no elbows or no knees? No elbows. Oh, why interesting. That? Um, because do elbows I freak still around? Walk like this. That's that's what I said. Okay, what? you get a Red Bull keychain. Have a great day. Wow. wow. Ask someone okay. uh, what their favorite Nickelback Ladies, song sorry. is, Cam. Emily, you have a name tag on. What's the best Pixar film? No, don't answer it. I honestly don't know Pixar from Disney. Tell me. It's the same thing. I like Disney. But it's two different, like, Boom, move, move on. Move on. Move on. Next, Next person. Next. Next. Okay. Do you, would you rather have no elbows or no knees, Taylor? Mm, uh, no elbows. And why is that? Because then it's easier to walk. Oh, it's easier to walk? Okay, that's what I would say, too. Wow. All right, one, one more, question. more question. Okay. Who is the best, better president? Ulysses S. Grant, Rutherford B. Hayes, or Chester Arthur? It's just Arthur, actually, doesn't it? Who was the president? Uh, Grant. Grant, and why is that? He, he, was he part of the Union Army? He was. During the Civil Whoa. War. Whoa. There you go. You get a regular teaching. Okay, see you guys. Wow. Thank, Thank you, Cam. Thanks, Rick Cam. Campbell. That was great. Yeah. That's that awesome. Was, that was interesting, at least. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at the very least, it was interesting. We learned what people's thoughts on Chester A. Arthur were. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What more could you ask for on a radio show? That's true. That's what I'm saying. That's incredible. All right, we want to uh, remind you all that Heat Wave is recorded in front of a live audience. Today's viewer is Matt Kettle. Matt Kettle. <laughs> we want to thank him for, for coming on the show Thanks, today. Thanks, Matt. Yeah, no problem, guys. <laughs> if you want a ticket to sit in on Heat Wave, uh, get your tickets quick because we only have one seat in here and the tickets go fast. There you go. All right, it's time for a new segment. Andrew? Oh, yes. Uh, our segment right now is called La Mirada Craigslist, and uh, we just wanted to share some things with you in case, uh, you know, our viewers don't have time to check Craigslist. We, we just kind of wanted to give you a highlight reel of, of some of the sweet things you can find on La Mirada Craigslist. Sweet. All right. Our first one is a Little House on the Prairie DVD set and a co- collectible covered wagon for 80 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> and in the description, they write in all caps, so I'm going to kind of yell it. Other online and storefront retailers sell this exact box set anywhere between $150 and $500, depending on condition, availability, and how to complete the boxes. <laughs> I found out that my box set is worth $400, not the highest quote due to the outer pra- plastic wrap gone. All right, what else can we find? <laughs> well, we can also get an albino ball python. Great deal! For 160 bucks in La Mirada. Look at this awesome snake. She is a healthy and friendly female albino ball python. I got her in July 14 from, a, from kingsnake.com. She's a great eater, eating small to medium rats, killed weekly. Oh, whoa! She sheds all in one piece. My kids handle her regularly. This is pickup only in La Mirada. Pickup only? They don't deliver? They don't deliver that snake? 
Snake delivery is just a hope for the That's future right sign. now, they're, boys. They're, they're afraid that going to happen in the you. delivery. That's not something you snake want Snake delivery have. is a hope for the future. <laughs> <laughs> when can snakes deliver themselves? I don't know. That'd be weird. That's That'd... my hope for the future. Actually, right. I don't hope that. I wouldn't want to start a world yeah. without, without racial tension and where, uh, where snakes. snakes can deliver themselves. Maybe in the new heaven. Hey, snakes, you guys are <laughs> in, the, in the new Jerusalem. In the... <laughs> snakes will deliver themselves. <laughs> Wow! All right. And our final one is a is a is a great opportunity for our listeners. Okay. Want to become a beekeeper? <laughs> one dollar. <laughs> one dollar. Anyone, anyone, anyone can keep bees, young and old alike. Yes, even you can keep bees. Amaze your friends when you tell them you are a beekeeper. <laughs> become amazing. Ev- become everyone's best friend with fifty to a hundred pounds of honey a year per hive. Help save <laughs> help save the environment and the bees. Pollinate your garden and your neighbor's gardens. Come and join the Beekeepers Association of Southern California, or BASC, in La Mirada the fourth Thursday of every, the fourth Thursday of every month at six thirty p.m. That's this Thursday. No oh, thanks. And, right. and we will teach you over the course of the year through lectures and hands-on demonstrations how to be a beekeeper. There you go. So, so what, do you get a dollar great, for? For being there, or do they do you have to give a dollar? Probably give a dollar. Okay. You know, for it's the cost of bees. A you know, the dollar for a lesson. The cob. A dollar for <laughs> cost of bees. All right, thank you. So those are uh, some things you can you can buy in La Mirada. You don't have to travel very far. La Mirada is a very. Interesting I feel like place. our listener group is a, our bee people. Bee people, snake people, and little house on the prairie people. Yeah. yeah. That's the wow. target. You just described my family. <laughs> Wow, Thanksgiving's at the Campbell residence must be very interesting. You know? Hey, quaint little TV shows, a nice reptile as a pet, and cre- bees. creative hobbies. Creative. Hobbies. Hobbies. See, see what I did there? Hobbies. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. I was waiting for it. I wanted that sound effect. Oh, how about this one? Bees! Well, well, well. How are the turntables? Okay. <laughs> Well, Michael that's, Scott, everybody. That's really unsatisfying. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to end off the show today with a last game called One Word Correspondence. Oh, okay, this is my good. favorite. Brady, you're Brady, you can join us for this game. Yeah. This and fantastic. how this game is played is that two famous people are writing a letter to each other. And we're going to go around and write that letter one word at a time. Okay. So, Brady, we need a, a suggestion of the first person from you. Who's your favorite actor? Hmm. Favorite actor. Let's say, <laughs> uh, this isn't my favorite actor, but I think it, uh, Nicolas Cage. Yes. Uh, I think we, d- we did him on this game before, haven't we? Yeah, I don't we know. We did. We did. Let's do it again. <laughs> the okay. first time. I love Nicolas Cage. And then, uh, Josh, can you pu- uh, pull up your iPod? I think I actually have my real iPod. Okay. And I want you to just shuffle through it and find Good a random artist. Good thing he didn't artist. bring his fake iPod today. <laughs> it would have been terrible. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, that was good. So you want me to shuffle? Yeah. And while you're doing that, we have uh, another question. Okay. For Brady. Uh, my mom asks a question. She says, Brady, can you come do magic for my birthday party? Mm. For, like, my, me, my birthday party. <laughs> for your birthday. When's your birthday? Uh, April 12th. April in a couple 12th. weeks. Coming up. Wow. Oh, wow. Yes, I can. Okay. We'll, we'll figure out the uh, travel arrangements later. <laughs> how, how old are you turning, Matt? <sighs> 24. Oh, really? That's true. Catching up to Josh over here. No, you're not. <laughs> it's a race. I wonder who will win. First to death. <laughs> I'm not sure what the end line uh, is. We have a, we have a, a, oh, death. Text. We have a, uh, a tweet from J.J. Carroll. He says, far away, obviously. I don't understand the context mm. of this. <laughs> what is this about? I, don't, I know. It was from I a few know. minutes ago, so... He said, Brady, can you teach me a really cool magic trick so my friends think I'm cool? Oh, I think you're cool already. There you go. That's a so cop that's out a to no. say no. Yep, that's a no by Brady Lee. All right. Well, I have an artist for this one-word correspondence. If we're what ready is that for artist? Who is it? The Civil Wars. Okay. Yeah, that's, huh. Let's do one person so it's easier. Oh, Brittany he's Williams he's from the band. Civil Wars. He's writing that's to the not, band. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> The chick from the Civil Wars. Okay, the chick from the Civil Wars. I think her name's Joy. Joy, whatever. Nicholas Cage to Joy Civil Wars. All right, so Nicholas Cage is writing a letter to the the Civil Wars, the band, I guess. 
So um, we'll figure out what, what they're writing about, and uh, mm-hmm. we'll start with you, Brady. We'll go yeah. clockwise around the table, and we'll write this letter one word at a time. There we go. Hello. Joy. And the lead singer of the Civil Wars. I really love your guitar. And I always think highly of your musical selection. (laughs) Riveting letter so far. (laughs) Tomorrow is my birthday. (laughs) Um, You should hire my friend Crystal. (laughs) She is really hot (laughs) and superfluous. Her favorite song is <laughs> Hammer and Sickle by <laughs> the <laughs> Revolutionary Pillows <laughs> of That's why you should hire her because yeah. her favorite song <laughs> America. <laughs> wow. The sincerely me. Cool. Oh, okay. That's so great. That, <laughs> so that was Nicholas Cage's letter to the Civil Wars. So he basically was asking hire his hire friend Crystal. Crystal. Friend to hire Crystal. his friend Crystal, who's really hot. Because it's, because his, it's birthday? his birthday. <laughs> so are the Civil Wars throwing a party for Nicholas Cage and he's offering <laughs> Doesn't sound like, uh, hey, uh, a suggestion for entertainment or what? Yeah, hey, me and Nick Cage share a birthday. If this, is that true? If this letter is current. I didn't know if Nick okay. Cage shared anything. No, I mean, he said his birthday is tomorrow. And so is mine. <gasps> That's true. Yeah. Brother Andrew. Well, hey, Hey, the show isn't about you, Andrew. Let's keep this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> When's uh, your birthday, Brady? Uh, <laughs> when is your birthday, it, Brady? It was March 11th. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, happy birthday. Happy belated birthday. Did you birth. get Crystal to perform? I, I did not, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, you should have. Her favorite song is... Uh, Hammer and Sickle. <laughs> Hammer and Sickle. <laughs> by, by, by the, the Revolutionary, Revolutionary Pillows, Pillows of America. By the Revolutionary Pillows of America. <laughs> Those RPAs, man. Okay, so let's, That's see, a banger. let's see how the Civil Wars respond. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Brady, start us off. Nicholas. I. Got. Your. Letter. In. The. Mail. Your. Writing. Was. Really? Awful. <laughs> Whose <laughs> hand wrote <laughs> that thing? <laughs> Whose <laughs> apartment <laughs> are you having <laughs> television <laughs> parties at? Why? Would you hire me to sing for your birthday at your mom's apartment? What is the meaning of this letter? Because you try to be everything but you are nothing (laughs) without me and pillows (laughs) so in conclusion I think that you should buy a pillow for crystal (laughs) all right Hey, since we got a little extra time, should we have Nick Cage respond to that letter, too? Well, might as well. Might as well. <laughs> so This is a riveting so, conversation so going on. So the Civil Wars replied to Nicolas Cage, and they said, basically, what'd they say? <laughs> You're they ugly. Said, and they, they said, said, whose hand wrote that letter? <laughs> it was awful. Wrote... Why, and that... Whose apartment are you in? Why did okay, you so, invite... So they're obviously throwing the party, but they were not aware of where the party was being yeah, thrown. Is it in their apartment? Is it in their mom's are they, apartment? Are like, they we don't frustrated know. that he doesn't want them to play for the... The, the party, but he's asking for Crystal instead. There's a lot of There's confusion. There's a lot of subtext here. Who yeah. is Crystal? Who That's is the Crystal? Real Maybe we'll hey, find she, out. 
Her you favorite song is uh, hey, Hammer and Sickle. Hammer and Sickle, Sickle by oh, yeah. the Revolutionary Pillars of America. Revolutionary Pillars of America. <laughs> Love them. It's like, that's right. like a top 60 song on iTunes. They just released a new EP and it's it's great. It's great? Can you listen to it on Spotify? Uh, no. Okay. I think it's called Communism. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. With a... With a Exclamation point and a K. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so Anyways. Nicholas Cage is going to respond here. Let's see what he says. So, I received your stationery and I loved every word of your writing. Whose ink did you use was it your mom's or was Joshua your mom (laughs) was Joshua your mom (laughs) was it your mom's or was Joshua your mom (laughs) because Crystal really thinks that she is awesome in my apartment <laughs> with you and <laughs> what's happening right now <laughs> crystal thinks she's really awesome in my apartment with you <laughs> and so she sang for us Hmm. We absolutely hated <laughs> Disney's newest Pixar <laughs> film. Even though they did a sequel to Toy Story. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Let's hang out <laughs> yesterday. Hmm. I time traveled <laughs> with Crystal. <laughs> Sincerely. <laughs> no context, okay. I time traveled with Crystal. <laughs> he just throw that in there at the end, just like, hey, you might want to hire Crystal because we time travel together. So <laughs> let's hang out yesterday. I kinda owe her one. <laughs> I kinda owe her one. You you better get Crystal something. Hey, get Crystal. Okay. <laughs> Sincerely Nick. Oh, oh right. we're gonna time wow. travel. You better uh, go get Crystal. That was fantastic. That's that's just great. Alright, do we have uh any last questions for Brady or anything? Somebody asked, can Brady cut Andrew Cobb in half in the studio? And put him back together. <laughs> and then put him back together. Can we do that? Who asked that one? Brady? Can we do that? <laughs> we'll narrate. <laughs> okay, I, I'm getting on the table right now. <laughs> the incision's being made. Okay, Brady has a smirk. <laughs> Brady, have you ever cut anybody in half? Uh, yes, I have. No, In real I life? I don't believe this. Yeah, it didn't go well, though, my... The the volunteer is currently in the hospital in rooms B two oh seven and two oh eight. Ah, yeah, this guy full of jokes. <laughs> That's great. Jokes, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah. we could read all of these out of context uh, yeah, tweets from, from JJ. From JJ, I don't understand the context of any of these. It tweets. was the Nickelback song. Let's How dare you? Let's read them in order here. Okay. Okay. Oh, Far away, obviously. All of the above. Good job, JJ. Brady, can you teach me a really cool magic trick so my friends think I'm cool? It was the Nickelback song. (laughs) How dare you? Love the music. Getting touchy. Hey guys, I accidentally tuned in late due to an unruly nap. Can you start over again? Thanks. No. Do you want to respond to any of those, Brady? I like you. (laughs) Alright. Even though JJ's not here, he he still wants to be on our show. Didn't he graduate? He is. I don't know what he's doing still around. Mm. <laughs> Should probably go back to Montana. <clears throat> Here, the film industry where he belongs. Doing, <laughs> doing really, well there. Um, what are your thoughts on Zach Castle? Um, I think uh, he's the intramural refs. Yeah, he's not a very good one. Guy. No, I. I think that you have to have 
tough skin to be in that position. Mm. So, so you're saying his would, skin is so not fair. That he, he doesn't, doesn't have very so good callous. skin. Okay. <laughs> I, I would say that um, I would like to get to know him more, and maybe he can teach me things about, uh, you know, having to make hard decisions on the court and in the field. Hmm. Well, that just shows you how nice of a guy Brady is because no one else wants to hang out with Zach Castle. <laughs> <laughs> so. At least you have one friend, right, Zach? All right. Wow, that's great. <laughs> Glad we got that question in at the end. That's, <laughs> that's true. Very true. Uh, Brady, we want to thank you for being with mm. us today. So welcome. It was a, it was really a pleasure. Fun. Our minds are, are blown mm. from your magic trick that no one saw but everyone heard. <laughs> And, I don't uh, know. What, yeah. I don't know how that happened. I didn't even still. see it. <laughs> all right. So, uh, so next week, next week, we're all gonna be on break. So, uh, as opposed to just next week. Yeah. 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 Um, so I, I, we might do something with the people who are here, but we don't know. But two weeks from now, we've got a very special guest. Yes. Who, yes. Uh, two weeks from uh, today, we have Matthew McConaughey coming into the studio. That's big yeah. stuff. Yeah. You have no idea how we what we had to go through to get this guy. A lot of bribes. Uh, so Matthew Emails. McConaughey will be here. Fly to space. We're not, yeah. <laughs> fly to space. We're not joking yeah, we, about this. We had, we? To, we had to bring him home. We had to time travel. Hopefully he'll, he'll stay. <laughs> Woody I Harrison mean, tried to come. Here, all we, we sent Crystal. <laughs> this is real, though. This is not a joke. Yeah, Matthew like, McConaughey j- will be in the studio with yeah. us. All joking aside, we like to joke about stuff, but Matthew McConaughey is actually going to be on our show. So yeah, it's so be... we'll see you then. It'll, Brady, it'll be great. Thanks again. Yeah, you're so welcome. Uh, we, we loved having you on. Mm-hmm. It was a pleasure. We all really admire and look up to you. So mm-hmm. thanks for coming on the show. Yes, yeah, you're doing great. Thank We're you. going to leave every everyone in the audience uh, with a special song, one of Josh's, uh, a song from Josh's favorite movie, Grease. We'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs>